We just got our first look at season one for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and we are in the dark ether, and it looks incredible. This is all part of the season one launch trailer that's just dropped, and it contains seven seconds of zombies gameplay. But that isn't going to stop us from breaking down every single frame, because this looks absolutely incredible. So one of the main new parts of season one is that there are going to be these new dark ether rifts, which are going to take us to the dark ether. And the aesthetic of this just looks incredible. If you agree, let me know by dropping a thumb. Up. But slowing this right down, this looks to be as chaotic, if not more chaotic, than the tier three red zone, based on the fact that in this short gameplay, we get to see disciples, normal zombies, hellhounds, and the mega abomination. So let's break down how exactly these dark ether rifts are going to work. So, in order to unlock these rifts that are going to be found around the map, you need to find sigils to unlock the dark ether rifts. Now, I don't know how exactly that's going to work, but I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. But once you do unlock them, you'll be able to go inside the dark ether and you and your squad will have 30 minutes to complete a series of increasingly chaotic objectives to earn exceptional rewards. In order to enter the dark ether, we have to find these dark ether rifts and straight away the rift entrance itself seems to be on the top of a roof of a building where the sky and the background are completely different to what we see in Urzikstan. And to me, I feel this trailer is showing us the exit of a dark Aether Rift back into Urzikstan, but when we enter the Dark Aether, the entire skybox has completely changed to the beautiful bluey purple that we're used to with D Machine. We can see the big Dark Aether crystals, and the zombies look incredibly aggressive. We have dogs, we have normal zombies, we've got a disciple, and then it transitions to a really interesting scene where the player is throwing the Mr. Peaks bunny up in the air, like as if it's a actual piece of equipment that is usable in the Dark Aether. This also gives us a better look at the skybox for this which looks absolutely gorgeous but one detail which seems to be a little bit strange but you can definitely tell from this frame is that it looks like the main fortress from Al Bagra fortress in Al Mazra is in the background here in part of this playable space in the dark ether which makes us question is the dark ether itself going to contain elements of the Al Mazra map meaning that the dark ether section of this zombies experience won't just be Urza stand in the dark ether but a completely separate map of its own which is actually al Mazra from modern warfare 2 if that is the case that is going to be very very interesting and also must have some sort of storyline lore with the original al Mazra as to how it ended up in the dark ether and the fact that the modern warfare storyline is really tying around this is really interesting in my opinion we have mr peaks that then waves at the screen which may indicate that they're going to have some more easter eggs like what we saw littered around urzik stand within the dark ether which is really cool almost like mr peaks is playing games with us and just spreading all this mischief for us to find but then we get a look at the mega abominations which are going to be a returning theme here in the dark ether we can see one on this bridge here which again looks to be the bridge from the albagra fortress which is fascinating now whilst we don't have gameplay of the vr11 we do have a screenshot to show the very first image of the vr11 being used and this will turn enemies into allies with with a powerful shot of the VR-11. It will transform zombies into humans and it will blast humans to mutate them into friendly zombies. And the transformed humans will join you in the fight, drawing the attention of nearby zombies, or transformed zombies will commence their seedsless hunt for your enemy's flesh. So a bit like brain rot on the fly, which is pretty cool. I'm really interested to see in the meta if this is going to be a useful weapon or not. But then we see the player throw a throwing knife at the abomination. And this isn't any old throwing knife knife. This is a brand new special lethal equipment called the Aether Blade, which is going to be a classified schematic available on the launch of Season 1. And this is a throwing knife with infinite ammo and a boomerang like combat style, where after striking an enemy, the Aether Blade locates the next nearest enemy to hit before returning to its operator. So it's essentially going to be like a Hell's Retriever in Modern Warfare Zombies, which is going to be absolutely incredible. But there's so much more coming to Zombies than just what we saw from the seven seconds of trailer, where there is a brand new story act that's going to be added to 
to the game. On the roadmap is labeled as a new story mission with an image of Ava Jansen with the dark ether purple eyes. And there's leaks to suggest that there is going to be some sort of quest involving finding items from her childhood, such as when she was a child, when she was a teenager, and when she was an adult. We don't know the specifics, but the mentions on the blog post is that the dark ether is a brand new area and you will engage in new end game content as part of that story act. We're getting some brand new schematics as well, which is really awesome. The first being the dog bone, which is a classified legendary schematic, where if you consume a dog bone, you'll be able to summon the strongest friendly hellhound companion. The pet hellhound will follow you and attack nearby threats until its health runs out. This is an extension of the friendly dog easter egg that we already have in Urzikstan, but you'll now be able to craft your own to bring a dog by your side at any point, which I think is really, really cool. We also have the golden armor plate, which is a classified schematic where consuming this will replace your armor carrier with plates that will automatically repair over time, in addition to providing the user with additional damage resistances. This is something we've never seen before in DMZ or Modern Warfare Zombies. This is going to be really good and the most powerful armor plate carrier that you can find. And also we have the ether blade, which will be a classified schematic as well. Now coming in season, we're going to have a brand new warlord called Dockerby, which is actually a legendary creature from Korean mythology and folklore. Although this is not going to be a mythical creature. Instead, this is one of the lieutenants that Terminus Outcomes is deploying to the battle space in the coming weeks. Of course, they are South Korean born, which will bring an intimate understanding of electronic warfare and a fleet of self-programmed autonomous drones ready to wreck carnage on Operation Deadbolt's operatives from the skies. But it's fair to say that from everything coming for season one, Treyarch are absolutely cooking for zombies mode. And I cannot wait to cover this and stream it when it drops on Wednesday. But I'm going to have some exclusive season one gameplay going up before the launch of season one next week, as I got the very lucky opportunity to go to Sledgehammer Games in San Francisco yesterday to check out season one a little bit early. And I'm going to have gameplay and impressions for all of you guys on Monday, December 4th. Now that doesn't cover zombies unfortunately it was only a multiplayer focused capture event and believe me i really wanted to check out the zombies as well but i think it's better left as a bit of a surprise but there's still going to be some really cool stuff coming on the channel definitely some things that are going to interest you a lot we're talking both for footage that i'm allowed to post on monday from season one but there's also stuff coming later down the line for season one on the roadmap they're labeled as vortex multiplayer maps which are these variations of multiplayer maps that have been reskinned to look completely different and some of them will actually have a game mode where you'll spawn in with a ray gun and if you manage to kill the player that has the ray gun you will then have the ray gun in multiplayer and some of these environments were just absolutely crazy i can't show you them yet as they're an in-season thing but later on down the line i'll be able to show you it talk all about it and of course with all the stuff coming for zombies there's a lot of stuff to cover we've got some cool stuff to have on the channel here on monday and then beyond once the season drops so i hope you look forward to that and make sure you subscribe with a bell tick to not miss it